There's something that really connects society. We, we have two great gifts. One is our story and the other is our song. And we sing to one another. It's one of the first things that ever happens when a baby is born. We sing to the baby. We sing lullabies to the baby. Even people who don't think they can sing, even dads who would never in a million years sing in public, sing to their, to their child. And there's something so powerful. There's no in-between either. I, I love instrumental music. I love instrumental music. I love drumming. I love going to the symphony. There's something about taking all that away and it's just voice to, to voice, voice to ear, heart to heart. It's me to you. I think that's why so many people too feel like they can't sing um, because if anyone were to ever make a comment that felt like a critique or a negative about their voice, it really truly feels like you're saying something about me. Voice is personal. So there's a vulnerability to that, but there's beauty in that vulnerability. Um, that's, where, uh, that's where we really connect with one another. Uh, when we hide, we can hide behind a lot of things uh, and, um, and we can feel safe there. Choral community, there's nothing like it because what you're doing is you're creating a safe space. Sanctuary isn't just a church word. Sanctuary means safe place. There's an animal sanctuary where animals are safe. When we're doing it well, when we're doing it right, what we're doing in music, regardless, but maybe especially in, in our choral communities, is we're creating a sanctuary. We're creating a safe place where we can truly be open, uh, where we can be vulnerable, where we can share our voice, whatever our voice is, trusting that it is enough and that the other voices that, that share their voice, their voices are enough and together we do something that is more than enough.